Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 11th PSD to Responsive website tutorial and in this video we're going to start making our mobile drop down menu. Wow. Alright then gang, so this is where we left off. We did a few stars for our mobile and uh, that was at 480 pixels, the breakpoint. So what I need to do now is create this mobile menu because everything else is pretty much ready for mobile. So I'm going to make some styles first of all, then we're going to jump back into the code and we're going to make a JavaScript file to control the functionality of this drop down menu. So let's start this up first. Now we want to grab the li tags here and we want to change those. Currently they're going left to right, they're all floated left and uh, I want them one after another going down like this. So they're in the header and then they're in the nav and then they are li tags. So. We need to clear the float, or get rid of the float rather. So we'll say float none, and then they go downwards. Then I want to give them a width of 100% because currently they have a width of 16.6. And then I'm going to get rid of any margin that they may have as well. Next thing we're going to do is just get the nav element. So it's header nav. And I'm just going to give this a background of some kind of gray, which is going to be about 555 like that. Now you're going to notice that this doesn't go all the way to the edge of the screen. Now I want it to, so to do that we have to edit the wrapper in the header. If we go to the HTML, you'll see in the header right here, there's this wrapper and it's got some padding left and right. So we need to get rid of that. You can see the width is 96% and the padding is zero and 2%. So let's sort that out. So we'll say header wrapper and then what we'll do is get rid of any padding, zero, give the width to be 100%, like that, and that will do, I think. And then I think there's some margin going on here somewhere. Let's have a look at that. That's the header, so there's some padding on the header. So we'll get rid of that as well. So we'll say header, padding bottom, zero and that gets rid of that gap right there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is style up these links because currently the two dark and if you view that as it is, you're not going to be able to see any of those. So let's say header nav li a and then within here, the first thing we'll do is give them a display type of block and uh, then a text align center and then padding 10 pixels just so they spread out a little bit. That's why we give it a display type of block so we can apply that padding all the way around it. But then the color is gonna be a very much lighter gray. So we'll say 999, something like that, that's cool. And then we'll just give each link a border top property of one pixels, solid, and then about 4F, 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 which is a slightly darker gray, just to split those up a little bit, all right? Now then, what we need to do is control the functionality of this menu. And to do that, we need to click on that little burger nav icon that we made earlier on in this tutorial playlist. So currently, if we look in the HTML, you can see we've got this wrap and then we've got this nav H2. And then right here, we've got this div with an ID of burger nav. Now currently, there's nothing in it and it's not styled whatsoever in the CSS. So we need to apply some kind of styles and background image to it in the CSS so that people can see this burger nav icon on mobile screens. So let's go down here and let's get that burger hyphen nav. And what we'll do is give it a width, first of all, of 100% and then a height of 40 pixels and then we'll give it a background of a URL which is images burger.png like that and then it's repeating all over the show we don't want that that looks stupid uh, so we'll say no repeat and then what we want to do is position it all the way to the right pretty much so we'll say 98% across to the right and then center just to align it centrally from top to bottom in that little bit there okay I also want to give this a cursor of pointer just so that when you hover over it you can see that you can press it okay now I know you don't see that on mobiles but it's just nice to have that effect if you do have a tiny screen where you can have this hover over effect so let's move on to the next bit and the idea is that when we click this, then this is going to expand. And by default, it's not going to show. 
then when we click it again it's going to zoom back up to the top all right so what we need to do is control the height of the ul so we'll say head and nav ul right height is going to be zero by default okay like that but you can still see these things down here and that's because we've not set the overflow property to hidden like that okay now we can't see anything that's beyond the zero height all right so now what we need to do is prepare for when this is clicked and what i want to do is when this is clicked i want to give this ul right here a class of open in the code so when you click it this becomes ul.open right and then what we'll do is we'll override that height there nav ul.open so when it has this class we give it a height of auto okay so now if i go in the elements right here and i just edit this edit as html and i do this class equals open you can see now it shows okay but when i take this class away like that it closes and that's the functionality of this thing right here when we click it it's going to give it a class of open when we click it again it's going to take that class away all right so that's the css sorted so we'll grab all of that now copy it and jump back into our code go to the styles and get rid of all that and paste it in the new stuff and then what i want to do is start linking up some javascript into this file so i'm going to come down here and what i need to do is first of all link up to a file in here so we'll do script source equals then we'll just say menu.js okay like that now we're going to use jquery in this menu.js i'm going to create this file right here new file menu.js and we're going to use jquery in it now currently jquery is not linked up in our document so what we need to do is add a script above this one because this right here is going to depend on jquery so we need to add jquery above it and uh, to do that i'm going to use a jquery cdn all right guys so i've gone ahead to code.jquery.com this is where we're going to grab the cdn from and uh, basically a cdn is a content delivery network which means we don't have to download the file itself and put it in our folders and link to it there we can just link to it in this content delivery network which is hosted online somewhere and the idea is that if a lot of sites use jquery and also use this cdn then users won't have to download the javascript file over and over again when they visit different websites so when they come to yours they're probably already going to have that jquery cdn and they don't need to download it again so it's going to make your website load quicker so we'll go and download this by the way downside is that we can't develop offline we have to be online when we're linking to a cdn so if you want to develop offline then you can go ahead and download the file okay so now we've linked up to jquery and we've also linked in our menu.js file so now what i need to do is go in here and do the functionality so the first thing i want to do is a document dot ready statement and then a function is going to fire when a document is ready um, and within that function is where we're going to control the menu now by the way if you need to brush up on your jquery skills i'll leave a link to the uh, jquery for beginners playlist down below i've done that here on youtube so you can go and check that out because i'm not going to be going into any great depth about what this means like uh, things like this and uh, this right so if you want to check out that course feel free to do so but i'm only going to do a little bit of jquery here so the next thing i'm going to do is go after the burger nav right here and then on that element, I'm going to attach a click event. So on click, fire this function. So when someone clicks that, it's going to fire this function in here like this. And then what we want to do is toggle that open class. OK, so when someone clicks it, we want to either give it uh, give that ul a class of open or take it away if it already has it and the way we can do that is by using the toggle class function in jquery so first of all let's grab the ul header nav ul and uh, toggle class is the function and the class we want to toggle is open and you might be surprised guys but that is pretty much it that's all we need to do in the menu.js file so now when we go ahead and uh, click if we refresh first of all and then click on this you can see it jump down, click on it again, jump up. Okay, so that's how it's gonna work on mobile. And you can see in the elements that when we click on it, this UL gets a class of open. When we click on it again, it takes it away. Okay, so there we go, guys. That is the mobile done.
Now, we're pretty much there. I wanna do one more thing, and that is to do with this banner image right here. The default size of this is really large, like that, so if we're viewing it on a mobile, we're downloading this huge image when we don't really need to. We really only need to download an image roughly about that size. So we're gonna look at that and how we can overcome it in the very next tutorial. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, guys. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the very next video.